physical activity, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high stress, obesity, excessive use of alcohol, and tobacco use. There are some things that can be done to lower the risk of heart disease. First one is not smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Exercise. Sure, I'm the only one here. <laughs> Maintain a healthy weight. Lower stress in your life. Eat a healthy diet. Um, we did a survey about 15 guys, and most of their diets consume the fast food, coffee, really no nutrition. <laughs> one of the um, most important <laughs> things, one of the most important things for someone for a man to do is actually get a regular health screening. Over half the men surveyed have not been to the doctor in over four years. Some of the reasons they listed for not going because they feel fine, um, they hate to go to the doctor, and they have no health insurance so they can't afford to go. Um, most of them said they would only go to the doctor if they were in a bad car accident, bloody, or if they were dying. Heart disease is often avoidable when preventatives are taken. In order to live a long, healthy life, it is important to follow these steps and go to the doctor. And now, I'm going to turn it over to Matt, <laughs> which is our high-risk uh, yeah. high I'm the high-risk male. Uh, excuse my attire. I'm a repossession agent. I'm on my way to work. I'm doing this for them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Some of your cars are being taken right now as we speak. You've all been tricked. No, I'm just <laughs> there ain't no bull tickets. No, I'm just <laughs> all right. <I'm laughs> Don't hate me, please. Uh, I'm trying to make a living. That's it. I can't afford school. Oh, we'll talk. <laughs> um, basically, I went over this. She asked me to do this. Uh, I went over a couple facts myself. Um, the average age of the heart attacks for men is uh, is 66 years old. Um, almost half the men who have died who have heart attacks under the age of 65, they die within eight years after that. 49% uh, lifetime risk of developing coronary heart disease after the age of 40 is is men. Um, basically, reasons why men don't go to the doctor. I mean, I can tell you straight up, I don't. I don't like to go to the doctor. I mean, seriously, it's just, I mean, I don't like sitting in the office. I don't like the music they play at the office. I don't like the <laughs> magazines that are sitting there. It's just like the dentist, you know, you hear the, you know, some people walking out with the cans on. No, I mean, basically, men don't like to, to know anything's going wrong with them, you know, because we're men. That's how we are. We're idiots. You all know this. That's how that's going. Uh, we feel uncomfortable because doctor's offices are mostly filled with women, children, and old people. Men feel uncomfortable around women, children, and old people. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth. I do. I do. Um, basically, uh, they fi men find it difficult to discuss sexual difficulties, uh, mental illnesses, issues like stress, depression, physical problems. Basically, men are scared to talk about everything. I mean, if they would go to the doctor, they would they would go to the doctor if it was at the golf course, the club, the bar, you know, stuff like that. I eat fast food. I'm out working all night. Obviously, I work at night. Um, I eat a lot of Speedway. I'm trying, but Subway ain't open at three in the morning after I just jacked somebody's Cadillac. <laughs> I'll be like, man, that was rough. 54th and Parnell, man. I'm like, I got corn dogs in me. I got hot dogs in me. I got hamburgers in me. I'm, I'm a, after reading all this though, honestly, after doing this for her, I was, I was taking it as, you know, kind of light. But after looking up all this stuff, I honestly do want to start getting, you know, a little more healthy because I'm. I don't, I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> it's been, it, right, it's been thrown upon me, so basically maybe I could, you know, talk to a couple of my boys, but how's it up to? I'm, I'm, in, I'm in my 30s, early 30s now, so, you know, I guess it's time. Plus, I have twin daughters. I'm stressed out, you know what I'm saying, so I appreciate you guys listening to me, though. Know. Seriously, I liked all you guys' things. I learned some things. And I, she wouldn't let me do no entry music, so I'm going to do the exit music. <laughs> This is my extra music. Thank you very much. <laughs> Y'all like good games, what? Thank you very much for coming out.